Hi, my name's Mike, and here's my favorite tips to help you get the most out of Copilot when you're looking for those quick data insights in Business Central. Analysis Assist is just one of many Copilot capabilities, and it's in preview in 2024 Release Wave 2. In this wave, we've listened to customer feedback, and we've made things more reliable, more powerful, and more flexible as well. Um, so let's dive into those tips right away. So here's my first tip. Start by picking the right list. It's actually really important. So if you're interested in insights, for example, about your customers, you'd go to the customer list. Here, you can use the Copilot toolbar or the Copilot menu to get help from Copilot. Let's start with an easy question. Who are my top customers? And bonus tip here, you can use Control Enter to send that to Copilot without even having to lift your hand off the keyboard. Now we've put Copilot to work. Copilot is trying to come up with a layout uh, of this information, which helps answer my question. And there you can see it's already drafted an initial layout. Now, um, it's okay if you or Copilot don't get things right on the first go, because Copilot hangs around here to help you reiterate on that design. Let's try something else. Group this by country, show EU countries only. Now here, I can reiterate with Copilot, I can continue improving and adapting that layout of my analysis tab. And you can see how it's grouped um, the uh, records by country and region code. Now what's most interesting, of course, is that uh, the country and region code are actually not on my, uh, my customer list. Uh, so what happened here? How did these hidden fields suddenly appear? Uh, well, when I say hidden fields, what I mean, of course, is the fields that are on that list page but are currently hidden, and you can normally bring them in through personalization. Let's just take a quick look at that. These are the fields, it's about eight fields, eight columns that I have on the customer list. And typically to add more fields, I'd go to personalize, I'd bring up the add a field tab, and that contains, what, 20 plus more really useful fields that I can simply click to bring onto the page, like country region code. Now, uh, what Copilot did there was, it shortcut all of this process for me, it helped me out by saying, look, there's a country region code field simply hidden on that list page, I'll bring it straight into that analysis tab. And once it does that, you can actually use that field also in other tabs that you go and create manually on the customer list. So Copilot can only help with fields that are here directly shown inside the list or fields that are shown in this pane on the right. But if you ask for insights which don't cover these fields, Copilot probably can't help you. And that's really why it's crucial to pick the right list to start with. Think about where is it most likely that I'll find the insights that I'm looking for. And for the next tip, make sure you review and adjust what Copilot has created. Sometimes you're just looking for a quick insight, but other times you're working on a task where those insights fuel critical business decisions that you need to make. So it's important that you actually take the time to review and adjust what Copilot has drafted for you. Let me show you how much easier we've made that now in Wave 2. So here I'm back in the same tab that was created earlier. And the first thing I want to do is go check my filters, so I can click and interact to see which filters Copilot has applied. You can see it's applied filters for these two countries onto the country region code. Um, but I can also look at the different columns here. I can even make adjustments as well, say let's bring in some contacts, uh, let's remove the, uh, the balance from there, and make some adjustments directly in the tab itself. I'll resize some columns, I'll also drag and reorder some of those columns and make sure that you know, the right things are expanded and collapsed. Um, so that's how you can easily explore what Copilot has drafted for you and make adjustments. But what's more interesting is that um, those manual adjustments are now added to the history here in the prompt dialog. So here you can see I've got my adjustments that I just made to um, that analysis tab, and I can actually navigate back and forth to see the different tabs to see which one is my preferred option. My manual changes are included here as well. And when I'm satisfied with what I see, that's when I can choose to simply hit keep it, and now I can get back to this next time as well. So the next tip will really help you improve how you prompt and how you send messages to Copilot. Start by keeping it really simple. Keep your messages very concise. Don't use long paragraphs or multiple sentences which ask for a lot of different things. Try to keep it real short. And if you're not sure what to ask for, use the prompt guides to help you. Let me show you how that works. 
Here I've got the prompt guide menu, and this contains a whole bunch of inspirational prompts that you can use, uh, giving a hint about what Compilot can do for you here. For example, did you know it could actually freeze some columns to make it easier to uh, scroll around and see those key fields. Uh, you can apply different ways of sorting, uh, ascending or descending, or different ways of filtering that data, and adding structure like grouping, like um, showing basic math like sums and averages, uh, or also even advanced things like pivoting as well. So use the prompt guide to give you those little hints as to what you can do and what you can ask Copilot to do in this case. Now, don't forget, it's okay to be imprecise, and it's okay to use abbreviations or alternate words for things, uh, and it's definitely okay for you to uh, use the grammar and the language that you are comfortable with. Um, it does not have to be flawless. Copilot is designed to deal with that and be able to work with how you express yourself. And of course, you can express yourself in your own language. In fact, we have tested and verified Analysis Assist in 20 languages now, so you can express yourself as you see fit. But don't panic if you don't see your favorite language on this list, because you can still use Analysis Assist with any other language in Business Central. Just keep in mind that it may not perform as intended, and results may vary depending on your input and the context in which you've applied it as well. So if you're interested to see the whole list of supported languages for all of Business Central's Copilot features, I've dropped a link just below this video where you can go look up the entire table of information there. And now for my final and favorite tip. You can actually start analysis directly from the chat pane in Business Central. You can chat with Copilot to get answers to how to do things, uh, ask about fields and how they work, or find records in Business Central, or using the power of your own words. And you do this in the chat pane on the side of the screen. Let's see how that works. Let's bring up the Copilot pane on the side here. And I'm going to ask a quick question. Show low stock items by category. I'll send that to Copilot. And um, Copilot just knows that certain questions are best answered or best expressed as an analysis tab. So it'll detect that it's that kind of question and actually lead you to the right place. And there we go. Copilot has responded, uh, indicating that this information can be found on the item list. And uh, it's actually giving me a simple way to simply click and start generating that uh, analysis tab, which may contain my answer. Uh, so it's also taking me to the item list, it's drafted up that analysis, it's done all of that for me uh, in just one click and a few words. And here you can see I've got all of these items, and it's a great opportunity to apply the same th tips I mentioned earlier. You know, make sure that it's gone to the right list. Uh, make sure that the filters are correct if this is an important decision you're making based on this data and these insights. Uh, and make sure you can, you know, reiterate on the design correct and manually adjust it if you need to, to get to the perfect design before hitting keep it. So that's how you can go from chat all the way to analysis tabs in just a few words and a click as well. So those were my favorite tips. This is when you stop watching this video and go try them out yourself. You can even try out Analysis Assist on your own custom lists too. If you like this video, like and subscribe to our channel. You'll get a lot more of these. And thanks for watching, and I wish you a productive workday.